What happens if I connect this 12 volt car battery jumper directly to this tiny LED with no current limiting resistor? It looks like nothing happened. That might be disappointing, but I promise there are explosions later in this video. Here I have a breadboard set up to test an LED with current limiting resistors. You see I have a working LED connected right now. I'm going to swap in the LED I just had connected to that car battery jumper. And we'll see that it is broken, even though there aren't really any obvious signs of visible damage. If I look very, very closely, I can see that the inside of the LED does look a little blackened compared to the working LED. This is important when doing a project with LEDs, which are very common beginner electronics and Arduino projects. You could waste a lot of time debugging your circuit, wondering why your LEDs aren't lighting up when they're actually burned out. And you won't know if you didn't see a visible pop, crackle, some sparks, or some smoke. The LED might just sort of fizzle out without you really noticing. I actually tried this for about a dozen LEDs using both this 12 volt car battery jumper and a much smaller 9 volt battery. As you can see in this montage of slow motion LED burnouts, most of the time you'll just get a brief flash and then nothing. I only got one explosion, and that was actually using the 9 volt battery. Let's watch that again and slow it down even more. My best guess is that a tiny imperfection, like an air bubble, rapidly expands, causing the LED to explode. However, if most LEDs don't have this imperfection, or they simply don't heat up enough quickly enough to cause the explosion, then they'll just fizzle out and give you the flash. To avoid blowing up your LEDs, you need to understand Ohm's Law and how to choose a properly sized current limiting resistor. You can find a link to my tutorial about how to choose a current limiting resistor for single LEDs or multiple combinations of LEDs in series and parallel in the link in the description below this video or here on the end screen. You can also find links to my other electronics tutorials. Thanks, and if you have a question or a comment, please go ahead and leave a comment below this video.